Hi, and happy Friday. This is Prophetess Afia Sabrina Acapo and wanted to give you a heart-to-heart -heart, along with a prophetic word on today that the Lord had spoke to me. And what he is saying is he is wanting you to have joy, unspeakable. He's wanting you to experience joy, a joy that you have never um, even experienced before. And for the joy that you have lost, he's wanting to give it um, back to you in double measures. I am also hearing laughter because laughter is good medicine. And he's going to give you that burst of energy to where you can be in the shower. You can be watching a program. Um, you can be doing whatever. And God is going to give you that um mysterious joke just like he gave me this morning to where you're going to burst out laughing and it's going to be definitely funny you're going to laugh like you've never laughed before and that's what he's wanting he's wanting you to have that laughter and to have that joy in this season especially with all the things that he's bringing forth and He's wanting you to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I wanted to give you some scriptures in relation to the joy and the laughter that he is wanting you to have in this season. And the first one is going to come from James chapter 1 verses 2 through 3. Consider it. Pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kind, because you know that the testing of, of your faith produces perseverance. And another scripture in relation to the joy that the Lord is wanting you to experience um, on today. And some of you may have already started experiencing it experiencing it um, through the, your worship and praise with you clapping your hands and singing and just being full of joy um, and even dancing. So Psalms 47 and 1 is saying, clap your hands, all you nations shout to God with cries of joy. So you're shouting definitely to the Lord with joy and along with the voice of triumph. So he is definitely wanting to once again give you that joy unspeakable and as with any prophetic word, you would definitely want to go to God in prayer to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you, okay? And also, another scripture in relation to joy is coming from Isaiah 9 and 3. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice because you as people rejoice at the harvest as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. So it's not just the joy for you. It's a joy for all of the people that's around you and all of the people that is in your circle. And it's going to spread even amongst people in other nations because of that joy in you is going to ooze out into other people and that's what he's wanting to do to cause that joy to be able to bring uh, more people into the kingdom and win their souls amen and also another scripture um with joy is coming from ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse number 7 go Eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart. For God has already approved what you do. So he's already approving that joy in you. This is why he's giving you that glad and that joyful heart. So go ahead on celebrate. Enjoy yourself because now is the time to absolutely, you know, feast your eyes on it. Uh, water in it. Settle in it. Because God has already approved it. He's he's saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. Go ahead on and laugh. Go ahead on and uh, kiki. Do whatever you have to do. Uh, but God is wanting you laughing where you'll be getting that good medicine. And while you're getting that good medicine, he's wanting you to do it with gladness while you're eating and celebrating with your 
wine. So it's definitely now the time to do that. And it's okay uh, for you to do that as well. He's wanting you to celebrate. This is the timing. This is the season for that celebration. So I also wanted to give you some scriptures as well um, on laughter because that is definitely something that he is wanting you to do more than anything in this season. And that first scripture is coming from Psalms 59 and 8. But you laugh at them, Lord. You scoff at all the, all those nations. And Psalms 52 and 6, the righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at you. Saying in the Proverbs 31 and 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. So what I just heard the Holy Spirit say is for some of you, you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. You, they may have had the first laugh, but you are going to have the last laugh because of your strength, because of your integrity, because of your consistency, because of you not faltering in your faith and not giving up on me. I am about to bless you and see Leah Bunley above all that you can ever ask or think. So I'm giving you laughter, which is your good medicine, where you'll be laughing all the way to the bank and just laughing. Like I said, you're going to get this burst of energy and, um, you're going to get these mysterious, even outbursts from the Lord, because I heard one in the shower, heard plenty in the shower today. And I was just, I have had this burst of energy to just laugh. And I know I've been praying for that. And I also been praying for that for you. So I'm just glad that you're getting your good medicine, brothers and sisters in Christ. And just a second, I want to give you some more scriptures in relation to laughter as well and proverbs 17 and 22 a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones so he's wanting you as i stated a little bit earlier he wants your heart to be joyful because if your heart is joyful it will um cause that purity of spirit in your bones. So he's wanting you to be happy. He's wanting you to have a joyful heart. He's wanting you to have a glad heart and he's wanting you to laugh because laughter is good medicine and it also strengthens the bones. And Psalms 126 and 2 Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. So all of the things that he's raining down in your life, you may don't see a way, but it has already been done. But what he's wanting you to do, laugh in advance as if it's already here. So he has filled your mouth with laughter and your tongue already has the shouts of joy on them. So he's wanting you to experience it before because it's going to be a surprise. Aha. Uh -huh, once you get the receiving those manifestations coming through back to back to back unstoppable. So yes. And as you can see, I'm definitely happy as well. Because I know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I know that laughter is good medicine. And it does give you that joyful and glad heart. And the Lord is so mysterious. He's so intentional. And I'm just so grateful just to be sharing it with you as well. Of just how I've been feeling today. So it can ooze out onto you and into your spirit as well. So just want to give you guys this prophetic um, heart to heart as well as this prophetic word on today. I definitely hope and pray that it has encouraged as well as edified your life on this beautiful Friday. 
I love you guys, but God loves you more. I am constantly praying for you and want what's best for you. God even wants what's best for you more. I will talk to you guys later. Be safe. Take care. Have a great and safe weekend. I will talk with you guys later. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.